Hello to all my viewers, it's PNG. Thank you for tuning to my One Piece Bounty Rush video. Well, today it's not a gameplay video, it's a uh, first three part series of my um, medal recommendation for each uh, class. So, how it works is um, today's video is going to be for my recommendation and my personal medal sets that I normally would use for my attackers. And then the second part and the third part could be um, defenders or runners. So it depending which one I can get my time uh, to make. So this part is going to be about my attacker's metal set. And hopefully that you will enjoy it and you will hopefully that learn something. Or you maybe have uh, some medals that you have sort of like slept on and you want to build it now. Uh, it will be quite good because normally I would... Um, build my metal sets in order to activate as much tags as possible to in order to give the attackers as much ability and benefits them because some attacker does benefit those metal sets specifically so um, hopefully that you will actually uh, find something and be useful so let's have a look at my metal sets for my attackers um, let's go to my safe set then yep my first set is the um, Fisherman set, which basically uh, built bar built from Arlong's uh, medal, Kurubi medal, and Hachi's medal. Which in all this medal set is actually quite uh, specifically built for attackers uh, that's generally focused on skill one. Um, so this medal set does get you the benefit of uh, having up to twenty percent skill one and two cooldown. Then. Uh, when you do KO somebody, you get a crit chance up to 80% for 20 seconds, which is actually 8% or 80%. And you will get skill 1 cooldown depending on your HP. If you have 70% or more or 30% or less, you'll get 10% skill 1 cooldown. But most importantly, you get that speed buff when you respawn. So if you spawn at the first uh, match, well, in the beginning of the match, you get the speed buff. If you die and you respawn, you, uh, you will get another, you'll get the speed buff again for 20 seconds. So you can move your attacker into the mid flag or get into to help your allies as quicker as possible because it does uh, help out your attackers uh, to move quicker and of course the stats not bad as well i've built on it that is the uh, fishman uh, attacker set i have then the probably the one of the best or probably the best uh, attacker set you could find and you could build right now which is the dressrosa luffy set uh, recently, they released this one, Lucy uh, Luffy medal, which is on the event uh, when um, when the, the last bounty, well, the bounty, current bounty fest. Uh, while while I'm recording this video, is the uh, God Usopp and General Frankie uh, bounty fest event when they released this one. This is actually perfectly designed to in line with the Dressrosa Luffy. This is actually quite a good metal set, uh, not only because it activates a lot of tags, it does provide when you capture something, you get capture a treasure, you get 5% HP. It's mainly designed for runners, but it can also benefit for attackers because attackers, you will need to capture treasure, you not only just to find and kill your opponent, but it's perfectly designed for also attackers so they can gain HP because you know, uh, attacker does attempt to die very quickly. And I managed to um, get stats, quite decent stats, uh, two 14% attack and uh, 114 def defense then of course um, the fire pistol uh, red hawk medal which i customize it using those transfer medal and build it on attack because this medal you normally won't get attack so i basically uh, forcefully uh, transfer those uh, stats into it and just build it on an attack base and then of course king gong gun medal which also in line of dressrosa luffy and this one fake basically focus on defense more um, but most importantly, it does activate all the tags, as you can see. So it does generate all the uh, skill cooldown, 1 and 2 for 20%. Your dodge uh, cooldown is faster, 10%. And your capture speed is 20%. And decent stat I've got as well. Plus, when you uh, you do get a lot of damage increase. So if you have less treasure, you do 10% more damage. Uh, when your allies are not near, you do 10% more damage and oh including because of king kong gun's ability you get 15 percent actually uh yep recover hp and then uh, when you attack somebody uh well your enemy's treasure area so if you're a long range attack you get five percent damage more so this is actually probably the most strongest uh, luffy set you can actually build right now so hopefully you guys actually have built a several of these one to prepare so you could use transfer metal to add on it later but if you're lucky uh then you could have built a stat like that 
Then my personally favourite uh, attacker set is the Boa set, uh, where basically it does provide a few, well, one extra thing that probably benefits for attackers now, which is the damage reduction. Um, but because uh, the bikini uh, Boa doesn't actually can tag along with the two uh, medals here it's it's unfortunately doesn't get the full skill one uh 20 percent cooldown but it's okay actually it's still able to do it you still get it from this medal when you have more treasure anyway so you do get a uh, skill one and two cooldown plus the uh dodge cooldown is 10 percent 20 percent capture speed uh extra damage to uh your opponent when you have less treasure uh five percent and you get skill one cooldown as i mentioned then you will get if your allies on the nearby you do 10 percent more damage or if your allies not nearby as well you get 10 percent damage reduction which i say is quite crucial these days anyway um generally you do fight alone and try to defend the treasure uh it will help out this is probably my personal favorite and i do uh did provide this metal set with the perfect stats so i generally use this metal set a lot for my attackers so you probably have seen it quite a lot on my gameplays then the other uh, metal set you could work on is the probably the easiest to access to is the um, two-year Luffy straw hat sets, which basically um, builds on Elephant Gatling, which is the two-year Luffy. You also get the Zoro two-year Zoro Dragon Quake medal, and Brook two-year Brook's uh, medal set as well, which basically activates quite a few things. Um, you get the skill one and two cooldown for twenty percent, dodge uh, cooldown is only seven percent, unfortunately not ten. Uh, but the other things you do get is the skill 2 cooldown while staying on the treasure area, which is in lines with this medal. Then you get 5% extra damage when you fight at an enemy in the treasure area. And then damage uh, increase when you have less treasure for 7%. And skill 1 cooldown when you have less treasure um, uh, secured. So this one is the, probably the easiest one to find. This is not a bad set for any beginners. Uh, that will at least start you up with... Um, some good metal set to activate as much tags as possible and the other one is i have is the whole cake island set which it builds on with two big mums uh, and the ex big mum and then you get the category set uh, as well which is the new green category boss cut mochi metal set it does activate the skill one and two cooldown uh, 10 percent uh dodge as well 14 percent capture speed but this big one will sort of compensate as long as you can keep your hp above 70 percent um you get damage increase when you have less treasure when your ally is not nearby you do 10 percent more damage you get hp recovery from that it's all those it's uh, tiny but at least it's better than nothing for attacker most most of the time that's your role is trying to ko people uh, you get uh, five percent damage reduction you keep your hp above 70 percent capture speed as well so this is not a bad metal set but however you will need to have an EX Big Mom in order to get that. All three of these might be hard to get access to. Uh, but if you do have them, build on it. It's not a bad attacker set. Then the other attacker set I have is the counter sort of like focus or more on category. You still get all the 20% uh, damage. I mean, the skill cooldown, one and two. You get your uh, dodge speed this time up to 10%. Uh, then you will get your damage increase when you have less treasure. Also, if your ally is not nearby. Uh, then you also get the 5% or 15% make that. That's This is more better for as an attacker because you do get um, the 15% damage increase when you when your ally is not nearby, HP recovery, and then of course damage reduction because this uh, category medal uh, is quite useful actually. So you could build it on this one. This will activate a few tags for the um, Sweet Free General one, of course, but Big Mom is only there to, to tag along with it. Then there's the Dressrosa set 2. You could build on this one if you want to. This basically involves um, Dressrosa Luth Lofi set, which includes um, Dressrosa Zoros, which activates the same, has the same uh, trait as the uh, Lofi set. Then, of course, the new set that you could activate. This one, I would probably um, provide it to any uh, long range attackers because long range attack in general will uh, benefit from it because you will be attacking your opponents uh, on their treasure area most of the time and you can do 10 percent more damage um this one will be uh work out a good alternative if you don't have the king Kong gun or you do but you want to try something out because you do get skill one and two cooldown uh dodge speed only seven percent uh cooldown plus capture speed 14 percent um, you still get the ability to, if you have less treasure, you do 10% more damage. 
seven uh, percent uh, for uh, if your ally is not nearby. And uh, when you attack someone, yep, this is the one where you attack someone uh, in the enemy's treasure area. You you uh, you don't have to be in there as long as you hitting somebody in the in the opponent's treasure area. Then you do 10% more damage. This is an okay, good alternative, but it's specifically designed for long range attackers, I would personally say. The another attacker set I have is the Wano set. Um, you do get the skill 1 and 2 cooldown, uh, dodge speed up to 10%. And uh, this is more designed for attackers who generally want to defeat defenders, I would say. Uh, because it does involve the Wano, Luffy, uh, Brook, and. Um, the Geisha Medal, which activates quite a few, like at least like you get some damage reduction and also capture speed. So this is not bad medal set. This is the, probably one of the medal set that you could have built uh, during the sec the uh, second year anniversary. Then the other kind of the gimmick type of medals that you could build on is this one. Uh, this one I would say is works out really well for attackers who focus on skill one again. Um, that also does a lot of crit. For example. Um, CP9, uh, Luchi, uh, Dressrosa Zoro, and um, Sabo, the Red Sabo, and also Lorfi as well, who those characters generally can crit much easier than most other characters. It involves uh, Blackbeard, Teacher's Medal, and then Rain Medal, and also Jet Rocket Medal. But most of the people doesn't have Rain Medal, you might not be able to use this set. Um, but if you don't have Rain Medal, you could actually put... Um, who was that? Ah, uh, you could add a Marco's medal if you like to. That will be an okay alternative, but this one probably worked out better. Um, it does activate skill one cooldown to twenty percent. Doesn't involve skill two that uh, at all. Uh, boost your, your capture speed fourteen percent. Uh, when you hang around the treasure, of course, you get skill one cooldown. And if you have less treasure, you do seven percent more damage. And you get skill 1 cooldown when you have less treasure, and when your ally is not nearby, you get 7% uh, damage reduction, and every time you crit, you will get skill 1 cooldown. So this one, I would say, is more perfectly designed for Dressrosa Zoro and uh, Dressrosa uh, Sabo as well. So this one's a good metal set for the crit ones. And the crit 2s. Um, for any characters who are looking for crit 2, there's the 2. This one, crit 2, and also this one for the CP9 crit 2, depending. This one's probably more popular, um, where it involves uh, that Wolf Medal and then two CP9 Luchi Medal. Uh, that provides skill 1 and 2 cooldown, only 14%. But for characters that generally will only benefit uh, from critting quite a lot, the characters like um, Dressrosa Zoro, Sabo, Luffy, or Luffy, uh, CP9 and also uh, it doesn't have to be attackers you could use it for like defenders that crit a lot um, uh, specifically for green category that generally relies on skill 2 to get his mochi punches back to regain HP because CP9 loot uh, Luchi medal does that job for you every crit you do you get 3% uh, skill 2 cooldown and wolf medal is a event medal that only be can obtain when you uh, or in the game playing for at least over a year because this is a, a last year medal set uh, that you only can get um, but of course a lot of people doesn't have it for newcomers um, the only one that has uh, the best replacement is the Shamba's Shan Shanji set in a minute I will look we will look in that, into that in a second you do have a lot of tags activated all the cyber poles of course because of wolf medal and luchi um, the most important it does give provide you skill 1 and 2 cooldown 14% um, that your dodge cooldown is 7%, capture speed 14, you get um, damage reduction if you have less treasure, uh, 7%, and then 6% skill 2 cooldown for every crit you do, hit, crit hit, and then uh, HP recovery 3%. So this is one of the popular set that's worked out uh, works out for a lot of characters. So if you don't have it, then the best other alternative I have is this one. Uh, the one is the Sanji Shambers medal set. If you have played the game for over I would say more than six months then you were able to have this medal set it's not the best one because this look like uh, the cheaper version of the wolf medal you only get one percent uh, hp recovery for every critical hit and then i added a uh, geisha medal for damage reduction when i fight alone in opponent's treasure area it's good for uh, attackers then you do get a skill two cooldown for every crit you do three percent exactly the replica version of cp9 uh, luchi medal 
um, because this is kind of like the straw hat uh, set you do have minimal um, tags activated so skill one you only get 14% uh, cooldown skill two you get 20% um, and then the rest like are the just the specific tags that's been activated uh, along with it and it's a special trait well these are all my attacker type of set um uh, hopefully you liked it today because um there might be a few other metal sets out there that i'm not personally aware of if you do please leave a comment down below so i know that you know, some of you might have discovered something far more better or you found a gem that i probably can actually use as well uh just share uh, so everyone can learn something and uh help everyone out in the uh the current meta that everyone uh probably needs best metal set that's possible to in order to compete but hopefully you liked the video today if you did like the video please like and subscribe to the channel and you will always get the new content oh one more thing uh, i think there might be um things that might be want to clear out for example i did have a lot of comments and uh, asking me questions regarding how did i uh, how do you get it to uh shiny or nine um it's basically quite simple the principle is you make sure that all of the stats is three star or above and um, then it will become shiny and nine in order to do that of course when you tap transfer you will need uh the duplicate version to get the stats so for example if you want that uh, 14 percent hp on to that and want to replace the stat that you don't want then you will need to tap transfer if you didn't get the desired stat then you have to transfer again it will burn your gem and then it will be down to luck really uh, if you don't have that uh, replica uh, metal, then you have to use your transfer metal sets, which is you could obtain them during um, seasons, uh, end of seasons, which is the fixed stats one. And then if you have, were competing in event medals or you buy them, you will able to get something like these type of medals. Um, for example, let's have a look. Yeah, the 18% medals specific for colors, depending which one you were trying to grind and if you just tap just transfer it you will guarantee that stat because it's gold uh then you'll get the, the desired one that you want but if you don't have the gold version they do have the silver which is um, not going to guarantee the stat that you can give you it's got like three stats when you tap transfer it will be randomly picked the, the one that it could it will activate on it if it doesn't have the if it didn't give you the right uh stat that you want you just have to tap a like, transfer again and then you have to burn gems again to get in order to get it so that is the sort of the basic principle how to get um, the medals to um, shiny 9, level 9 and also the stats that you want. Well, that is for today for the uh, my attacker medal set. So hopefully you will tune in to the next uh, video for the runners or defenders. So hopefully that you enjoyed the video today and I'll see you next time on the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you liked it today.